Hi there, welcome again sa aking channel. Today our topic is about English 10, Quarter 1, Module 5, Lesson 2. And this is about uh, denotative and connotative meaning of words. By the way, this uh, video will uh, give you the answers on the parts in the module that have no answer in the kit correction. And uh, I'd like you to be prepared with your ball pen and your paper in order for you to be able to copy or jot down the answers that you need. All right. But before that, of course, if you are new in this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also click the notification bell para palagi kayong updated sa aking bagong video. And of course, please share also. All right, let us start. Let us start with activity 2.1. I see your true colors. By the way, you should be prepared with your uh, module. Dapat sinusundan ninyo ang new module para nakukuha ninyo at na eh, susulat yung mga answers. Now, directions below are list of some words. Find the meaning or definitions of those words in two different ways. Based on a dictionary and number two, based only on your feelings emotions and what the word symbolizes all right number one is brain dictionary meaning human organ that control all body functions and the uh, connotation intelligence capability wisdom iq intelligence quotient or knowledge number two is chicken dictionary meaning this is type of domesticated fowl. And meaning based on your feelings is easy. Number three, cross. Dictionary meaning is an upright post with a transverse bar used in antiquity for crucifixion. And the meaning based on your feeling is heavy burden, suffering, heavy problem, or punishment. Now, number four. Fire. Dictionary meaning flame caused by burning. And the meaning based on your feeling, emotions, or what it symbolizes is intensity of eagerness, aggressiveness, or hatred. Number five, heart. Dictionary meaning a muscular organ that pumps blood through the network of arteries and veins called the cardiovascular system. And it is, means love, bravery, and courage. Number six, truck. It means solid mass or aggregate of minerals. This is based from the dictionary. And for based on meaning, uh, feeling, or emotions, it means firmness, foundation, or solid belief. Number seven, snake. This could mean a legless or carnivorous reptile. Meaning based on your feeling, emotions, or what it symbolizes, that means traitor, or a black biter, or, I mean black biter, a devil, or a zigzag. Number eight, blue. Dictionary meaning color intermediate between green and violet. And meaning based on your feelings or emotions, that is infinity, horizon, space, special or sadness all right next under what's new now denotation means it is a word's literal or main definition kung ano talaga yung nakalagay sa dictionary this definition is completely absent of emotion these are words or phrases that we can easily find in a dictionary thus it is commonly called known as the dictionary definition. Now, when we say connotations, it means words that are beyond what is literal. It is based on emotions, kung ano ang iyong nararamdaman, or, yes, moods or images that come up in your mind upon reading or hearing those words. Say, for example, the word sir. Sir is, uh, of course, it is a respectable uh, title of a person, but sometimes 
there is a negative connotation with the word share if it is used in a somewhat uh, a different manner like if you are scolding a person say for example you should not be absent again sir all right that is a negative connotation okay connotations have the following uh, aspects or associations we have positive associations or negative associations or neutral association when we say positive associations or impact these are only words that have uh, go, uh, say for example good or good traits or attributes or characteristic of a person thing or idea well when we say negative associations it it means it the the idea or the person that is being uh, uh, described has a bad characteristic that means it has neither positive or negative impact all right now example of connotation under positive connotation we have youth bravery love firmness by the way all these words are good attributes while when we say negative connotation example is childish hatred treachery all these words are bad attribute or bad characteristic that's why it, that's why it is called negative connotation okay for neutral it is neither positive nor negative okay now connotations also show symbolic meanings example dove means peace and blue symbolizes sadness all right now in this case the word has completely new meaning that is in far from its literal definition nag iiba ang kanyang meaning that is why connotation is also called hidden meaning na wala sa dictionary okay example stone could mean strong or strength now by the way this meaning depends on the feelings or emotions of the writer or and also it depends on on situation or circumstances snake could mean evil person or a traitor or it could could I mean could also mean a devil chicken could mean coward or easy task now by the way coward is negative easy is positive now heart could either mean love or care it depends on the situation or on the emotion of the writer of course now let us proceed to activity 2.2 word search here the direction is give your own example of 20 words with denotative and connotative meaning follow the example given in your worksheet now the answers here are not found in your module wala ito sa kate correction so you should uh, be ready with your paper and your ball pen and try to copy down the items here or you can uh, revise make some uh, corrections if you want okay number one answer easy under denotative without difficulty piece of cake just Try to cover this down as fast as you can because we are running out of time. Number two, watch out. Answer, look out. Be careful. Number three, morning. Denotative meaning is period of time between midnight and noon. Connotative, hope. Number four, sunset. Denotative meaning, sundown. Connotative meaning, ending or last part or old age. Number five, black. Denotative meaning according to the dictionary is darkest color. Connotative meaning means darkness or hopelessness. Number six, flower. Denotative meaning bloom or blossom. Connotative meaning lady. Number seven, muscle. Denotative meaning a bundle of tissue in human body. A connotative meaning it could mean soldiers, 
or armed personnel. Number eight, storm. Storm could mean under uh, denotative means violent disturbance of the atmosphere. Connotative meaning chaos or coming problem. Number nine, midday. Denotative meaning is noon, while connotative meaning is peak of success. Number ten, mountain. Denotative, a large landform that rises above the surroundings and connotative, unmovable or firmness. Number eleven, thorn. Denotative, sharp or pointed growth on the stem of plant. Connotative, threat, hindrance or annoyance. Number twelve, eagle. Denotative, large birds of prey. And connotative, greatness or power. Number twelve, dawn. Denotative, first appearance of daylight in the morning. Connotative, glimmer of hope. Th uh, Fourteen, crow. Denotative, raven. Connotative, fear or bad omen. Number fifteen, butterfly. Denotative, Insects belonging to super family Papillonidae. Connotative sitter. 16. A lion. Denotative large or powerfully built cat. Connotative strength, power, or aggressiveness. 17. Wings. Denotative the flat part of the body that a bird, insect, or bat uses for flying. Connotative, it means speed or greatness. Next, bread. Bread under denotative means staple food prepared from a dough of flour and water. Connotative, it means money. Nineteen, scepter. Denotative, the ceremonial stuff often used by kings. Connotative, it means power. And last, Gold under denotative means chemical plant element with the symbol AU. Connotative, it means wealth or power. All right, next, activity 2.3, reflect. The direction is in three to five sentences, write down the importance of using denotative and connotative meaning of words. Do this on your answer sheet. All right, be ready with your paper. Okay, let us proceed with the answer. First sentence, denotative meaning of words is important in the sense that you would be able to provide the exact meaning of a word according to the meaning in the dictionary. Next, connotative meaning, on the other hand, is important also because you would be able to give the exact meaning of a word based on your feeling or emotion in accordance with a given situation. And both denotative and connotative meanings are important in order to give the perfect description or idea that a writer wishes to illustrate to the readers. All right, activity to compare. The Venn diagram activity. This is supposed to be activity. It's only typographical error. I'm sorry. Now draw a Venn diagram on your answer sheet. Compare and contrast the importance of using denotative meaning and connotative meaning of words in our daily lives, and even in literary texts, stories, poems, etc. Okay. The outside circle is for their differences. The inside circle is for their commonalities. All right. Here are the answer. Now, I hope you'll be able to copy down all the items here, all the items here, because everything here are not found in your module. All right. Just pause the video for a while and then copy everything. All right, let us uh, proceed. Next, activity to open five, decision making. Define each word using a dictionary. Use the word in context, sentence, then decide if the word has a positive or negative connotation. The first word is done for you. Okay. Now the given is this one, cheap, means low in price, all right. Now, for number one, we have economical. Denotation meaning is cheap or low price. Words in a sentence. 
All right, copy this down. Customers like the economical value of the merchandise in this store. Connotation, this is positive. Number two, hard use. Denotation, extremely unpleasant. Words in sentence, the police officer did not tolerate the hard use conduct of the criminal. Connotation, this is negative. Number three, pleasing. For denotation, the answer is satisfying. For words in a sen in sentence, the company accepts only applicants with pleasing personality. Connotation, this is positive. All right, I hope you have learned something in this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you again.